Hello friends and a heartfelt welcome to Fright Night Files. Let's continue our journey in the beast inside this spooky creepy ass game. Let's continue. Continue. Come on. Enough loading. I'll show the Chapter diary three. Emma. She might find it interesting. Emma. Emma, darling. She was in the bathroom, yeah. Emma. I guess not. Where is she? Honey, you won't believe what I found it. There she is. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? Is she daydreaming? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. What? A fuse must have blown. Bea, darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? You all right? Well, that's women for you. Am I right or am I right? I'm definitely not left. No. I must be right, yeah? That's her problem. She sounded yeah. like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Last time we went into the basement, it wasn't pleasant. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Yeah, I saw one in the attic earlier. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it... I'm sorry, I, I read it in a normal voice. Someone even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just gonna sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no, no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. All right. Well, it's a clock. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. How awesome that must be. I would like to know how I, how I can put things down instead of just throwing it. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. I think I did see a flashlight here last time. Somewhere, somehow. Right here. Take it. So, let's check out that fuse box. To be honest, this place does need a lick of paint or two. How do you use it? F? L? Awesome. Huh. 
but it didn't work. <gasps> God's sake. Jeez. <laughs> It's just a toy horse, man. Chillax. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Okay, let's find the fuse box. Don't remember if you saw it last time. I bet its chiming has startled many people. Where are the fuses? Let's find out. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? You have a key? Key to the shed by the house. A spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay. Let's check out the shed. Who took a shit in my shit? Don't mind me. It's just be me being mature, you know. Wee, wee, wee. Huh? How do I get in there? I don't know. Maybe this way. By the way, this game looks beautiful. Love the graphics. Fuses here, of course. <laughs> well, that's the what only the place you looked. What? What is this? Where did all the blood come from? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. Fresh? Here. I don't know. Let's have some beer. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum Logalizer. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author know that he was writing about it. Oh. Quantum Logalizer allows an in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so-called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a given fragment of the space-time continuum has left behind detectable clusters of waves and particles, i.e. quantum clouds. Are you saying this thing can see ghosts? Equipped with two ultra-sensitive sensors, the device can detect both electromagnetic and quantum traces. Electromagnetic sensor Thanks to a special built-in coil and this ultra-sensitive sensor, the localizer can detect metal objects up to a dozen meters away with a precision of something. Quantum sensor, an advanced, very sensitive particle sensor based on innovative technology. It can detect quantum traces left by living organisms. Well, you already told us that up here. VLF display screen enabling the user to locate large clusters of quantum clouds impulse generator release a strong impulse which is then picked up by the sensors allow the user to locate metals and anomalies quantum scanner enables the user to stabilize quantum clouds and reveal any anomalies that may cause interference alrighty then Oh, we have the machine as well. The localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun and another oddity from the eggheads in the CIA. Okay. What's in this box? Okay, I didn't find a fuse, then what? Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Holy Okay, toaster, you can open man. the door. Emma? Honey? That scared the F out of me, man. It's jammed shut. Yeah, let's try to use that. Right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Press X to equip and unequip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Find a quantum cloud using the localizer screen indicators. The distance from the cloud is counted in percentages, and the green lines around indicate the direction where the cloud is located. A short sound will inform you when the localizer finds the nearest cloud. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, it's almost right here, yeah? Huh? Look inside. No. Why is he putting it down? We have a capsule here, but it's only at 18%. Do we need it at 100%? Here was the way out of here again. Oh, it's this way around, yeah? I should follow the localizer. Yeah. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Looks like it's this way. Yeah? This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Click right mouse button to release an impulse. Oh, which something something. Need that a hundred percent, yeah. Use the device to scan a cloud. Got it. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. It's like a person, yeah? Blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. It's a person. Send impulses. Uh. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Yeah, no Maybe shit. It's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. So where do you want me to? What is it you want me to do now?
I don't know. Just keep saying zero percent. Okay, we are on to something. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Scanning. I source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you will have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using right mouse button. So where's the anomaly? Here? Ah, that's one. To destroy an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge, fire from your device. Left mouse button. Then release to fire EMP charge. The highlighted areas around the localizer screen indicates number of anomalies to be destroyed. Pew! Did we do it? No? Isn't this the anomaly? There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. After destroy all the anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. Return to the quantum cloud. Is that this one? I did. Yeah. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll what try to rope? find more traces. Ah, that rope. Can we take it? With this I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Sure is. Okay, now let's go this way. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Eh, over here somewhere. Getting closer. It must have went up from here. Okay, we have a hook. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> what? not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. I don't see a trail of blood. <laughs> it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, here are some. Oh. Can't open the gate. Maybe we can go around. Okay. What? Can't walk past this? Do we have a crowbar or something? We don't. Uh, okay.
How do we get in there? Oh, no clue. be something we can do here clearly drag something heavy through that gate holy crap yeah what is that is that a skinwalker find another way maybe now we can do something here Yes, no, Some maybe. Planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Okay, we're in. Whole space to jump. Will do. Don't mind if I do. But hold space. Can I just press space? The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Can I jump down here? It's a lot of blood, man. Leading up to... What is this? A barn? We do have a ball cough there, right? Damn it! It's locked. Closed. <laughs> Just closed. Didn't we have a ball cutter? Oh, that was the other character, yeah? From the past. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... This thing scared the shit out of me. Someone hanging in there? I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Let's do exactly that. I go in this way, maybe. Uh, okay. Well, we have to go in there. Don't have something we can use for this? No? Another way around, maybe. <laughs> this was glowing, so I... Maybe this is how we get up. We're in. Anomalies detected. Fire. That didn't do much. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Isn't this like an anomaly? We have to... Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. One down. Wasn't one just flying around here somewhere? one there should be one over here as well somewhere oh flying there then what who is he what did he hide here well, let's check out A knife. knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Now we should be able to cut these ropes. Time to go back to the barn. Then we can find the side entrance. <laughs> I need to try to get inside. Sure thing, bro. Like Indiana Jones whip, yeah. Okay, let's throw a hook. What a throw! So, what was hanging here, yeah? Exciting. We just jump down. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Sadistic hunter isn't just normal hunter. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside, the animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. We just came from up there. How do we get back up? Come on. Come on, man. You suck at throwing. How hard can it be? Come on, dude. Stop throwing like a girl. Got it. Not that girls can throw. No. Sure can throw better than me. It was too short. I still can't get up there. Okay. Guess maybe that's a way back down then how the f do we get up there oh I have a ball cutter that's how we could open this here from the outside do 
gonna need something to stand on to jump onto the Here's something we could stand on. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Yeah, but I was thinking. I should cut down the deer. Okay, have to drag it. I love the mechanics of this game. It's pretty awesome. That we can drag things around. <laughs> Simple, but awesome. Yay! Let's check out the deer. She was beeping inside. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. It out, please. What is that? What's all this equipment? And why was it in? Fuck! What if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who got the animal has also been in our house, in our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. What? Could it be the CIA? The KGB? I don't know. But we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye. And remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye.